you go. And just keep it centered right there. And stop for a second. Okay. Uh, do your before takeoff checks. Right. There will be pre takeoff. Um, yeah. Harness is secure. Yeah. Door and windows are secure and locked. Body instrument checks. So we're looking at door pressure. Cold temperature is good. Yeah. Everything's good. Okay. And master is on. Yep. Magnetos on both. Yep. Mixture is rich. Okay. Flaps as required. We're going to keep it at 10. And yeah. Uh, trim set for takeoff checked. Okay. Uh, fuel quantities on both. Oh, fuel selectors on both. Sorry. Yep. Fuel quantities checked. We got the fuel. All right. All right. Full tanks. Uh, takeoff briefings. Okay. Lights as required. We're going to keep the beacon on. Transponder okay. set to alt. Yep. There we go. Uh, radios are set, so everything's good. Yep, and take off time. I got uh, 422. Okay. All right. That's it. A normal takeoff, high so power. Okay, full power. Keep us, rudder pills, keep us on the ground. On the uh, center line, sorry. Okay. Okay. All right, commence and take off. Hey, you have control. I have control. All right, um, everything's good. The oil temperature and pressure is good. Yeah. Got the on the green. Got good to go. Green. Releasing the brakes. Keep it on the center line. All right. At full power. The, uh, oh, you had your feet on the yeah, brakes. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. I felt that. Yeah. All right. FP is alive. And I get get the nose wheel up. Okay. okay. Just now, now you can rotate. Pull back. Yep. There you go. A little bit more firm. Yep. Let's move down a little bit. Yep. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Be careful with your feet on the brakes. Yep. Got it. Obviously, it takes a, takes off some of your takeoff roll. Yep. Okay. So now we're in positive climb. Everything's okay. looking climb. good. And when we're clear obstacle. Oh. Uh, yes. There. Yep. Wait till we're past these uh, trees. Yep. Call me paranoid. <laughs> Now flaps up and keep the keep the uh, positive rate of climb. Flaps up, right. positive rate of climb. Measure vertical speed, so don't let that go to zero. You yep. want that to be yeah, positive out of it. Now trim it. And now you, yeah, you're transitioning from somewhere in the 60s to somewhere in the 70s on the climb up. And uh, there we go. Now 11.50 or so, we can turn. Yep. Let's turn here. Two. Where are we turning? Uh, oh, you're going to go oh, left. Just doing the circuit. Yeah, okay. left, left okay. hand circuit. We're just staying in the circuit. Left hand circuit. Okay, now we're climbing up to 1,800 feet. That's our circuit altitude. Okay. And we're trying to keep a nice box. Okay, so I'm going to use the road as a reference. Yeah, use the road as a reference. Hey, you can use this road or you can use that road over there. Right? Okay. Are you look, see the runway? Yep. You don't want to be too far away from it. The yep. idea is that if you lost your uh, engine, you should be able to make the runway. Okay. Okay, so part of what we'll do later on is tighten it up. But keep on going. But now we're on, the, you, know, you want to turn on to the downwind now. So yep. Turn your turn downwind. And level load at 1800. No more than 30 degree turns in the circuit. Okay. What you're really looking for is 20 degree turns. Okay. So as a general rule, never turn more than 30 degrees in the circuit. It's better to go through a line and come back than yep. it is to steepen the uh, turn. Okay. Okay, you see that road in front of us? Yep. There you go. There's your, there's your, there's your reference. Okay. Okay, so now we do our downwind checks. Okay. Right. We're looking here, mags on both, masters on, switches as required, you know, mixtures rich, yep. fuel's on both, trim set. Yep. There's your and uh, there's your there's your downwind. Just and you flow like from left to right. Uh -huh. Okay. And when we come to beam the runway, I want you to call market traffic. You just say uh, market traffic golf golf pop a pop uh, in the uh, left circuit for uh, runway zero nine full stop. Uh, market traffic golf golf pop a pop is in the left circuit zero nine full stop. All right. Well, basically we call them here on the downwind. Yep. And we call them again when we're on final. Okay. Okay.
Okay, see those school buses? Yep. That's another convenient marker. Okay, what we're going to do is when we're, you know, approximately 45 degree angle to the threshold of the runway. Yep. We're going to turn and we're going to point at those school buses. And as we do so, we're going to bring the power back. Okay. Lead the speed off into the 70s and then put the flaps in. Okay. All right. Yep, we're good. And the key is bring the power back, but don't descend until after you put the, you know, put the flaps in. Okay. Right, so put in 20 degrees of flaps. That's 10. There we go. That's 20. Now so aim right at that. And as our speed comes back to 70 or so, put the nose down. Okay. Okay. And now it's all about using attitude for your airspeed and power for your altitude. Okay. Okay. So let's keep it at 70 here. So you put the nose down a little bit more. Yep. And bring the power right off. There we go. Okay. Now you want to turn final. So when you're ready, and be looking around, looking there, looking here. Okay. Now you want to you want to keep it at 70 knots while you're turning. Now you don't add power. You put the nose down. Okay. You were high, so you don't need power. You just need to put the nose down. Okay. Oh, this is looking good. Now full flaps. Flaps. Okay. Now and adjust as needed. Air trim. And. Let them know that you're short final zero nine. So say mark of traffic, go. Uh, mark of traffic, go, go, papa, papa, short final zero nine. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to adjust it with power a bit. Yep, okay. So yeah, your airspeed is your attitude, right? Yep. Your altitude is power. Okay. Okay. Hey, looking good. We got a little bit of crosswind from the right, but not much of one. I yep. say less than five knot. Okay. They're looking good. Good speed is good. Yep. Okay. Now you cut the power. Power right back, and you flare right now. Right there you go. Oh, there we go. Keep going. You're doing fine. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. A little bit rough, but that's fine. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. All right. Now apply brakes as needed, and bring the bring the uh, stick back like this. Yep. Helps you with the braking. And then you apply them. See, so what's happening is you're using aerodynamics to brake, okay, as well as applying the feet, a foot brake. All right. Okay. There you go. So now you, the, the key is in the flare. Obviously, you don't want to flare too late because you yeah. nose wheel has the kids first. You don't want to flare too dramatically because you balloon up. Okay. And you use the rudder pedal to keep it centered. Okay. That's you know that, that's basically the things you're playing with. Okay. Let's backtrack. Let's do it again. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was pretty rough. <laughs> oh, it's okay. That's why we got the airport to ourselves. We scared everyone else away. <laughs> and uh, just say Markham Traffic, Golf, Golf, Papa, Papa, backtracking 09 for you. Uh, Markham Traffic, Golf, Golf, Papa, Papa, backtracking 09. All right. There's the three crows watching, seeing if they're going to get dinner today. <laughs> Okay, so as we're backtracking here, we got time to clean things up. Yep. So what that means is flaps to 10, because we're going to take take off again, right? Yep. And we're going to, uh, you know, you want to check your temperature pressure, um, you know, trim it for takeoff. Yep. Uh, there we go. And you don't want to ride the brakes too much. What you want to do is just, you know, use power and then tap the brakes. Yep. So it's sort of like driving a tank when it's on the, on the ground, okay. right? Got I mean, you have, when the nose wheel is down, you have some, so you have some play, right? Yep. So if you use the rudder, actually, sorry, I'm turning that the wrong way. One's coming from there. But um, if if you, you can use the rudder, like if you take your feet, you can notice you've got some play because the nose wheel is steerable, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so, uh, and you can use that when you're on the takeoff roll, too. Yep. Below about 20 knots, the nose wheel is steerable. Above 20 knots, you can't count on it, okay. but you're, it's still the same same thing. You're using the rudder pedal. You don't really need to use the brakes. You can use a little bit of the brakes, okay, yep. if needed. Yep. But obviously, the more brakes you use, the longer your takeoff roll is going. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, yep. good. Okay, so now, get all set up. Get on the center line. You know, find your moment of zen. Yep. And let me know when you're ready. Uh, just a quick question on that flare. Uh, what did I do wrong? 
Oh uh, well, you you want to you want a gradual flare. You want to come in. You want a gradual flare like this. Oh okay. And yep. as you flare it out, you want a nose up, right? But if you do it too dramatically, you end up being too jerky. Okay. Okay. So you want to come in. You want to as you over the numbers, you gradually flare it. Uh, I mean, you know, so it's not that you're doing anything wrong. You just have to get a feel for it. Yep. Okay. All right. Let them know that you're now rolling for the circuit zero nine. Uh, Market traffic, go for pop 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 pop, rolling 09 for left hand traffic. Yep, we're, we're good. And we're good. Yep. When you're when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, we got 10 degrees flaps in. Flaps. And yep. Temperature pressure is good. good. That's in the green. Yep. We're good. Yep. Good. All right, speed up the brakes this All time. Right. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Speed's building nicely. I get that nose wheel up. Bit okay, up. and at 55, now you firmly rotate. There you go. Rotate. A little bit more. A little bit more rotate. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Got it. Yep. There you go. That's it. That's the rotation angle. That's about seven degrees. I think that is yep. ten, five, ten. Yep. Right. Got okay. it. Seven. Got it. And positive rates. Not clear yep. obstacles yet. Ball is centered. All right, we're clear. All right, stop. Past this road. Okay. All right. Yep. Speed is good. You want to be somewhere in the 70s here? Yep. Yeah. Alright, and we're going to turn downwind right about now. Alright, looks good. Compensating there, yep, I mean, I got it. Okay, correct it now. Yeah. All right. Temperature's good. All right, max and, and master. master. Yep, max uh, both uh, masters on. All right, and we're at 1800. Yep, everything's good. We're getting an ounce of when we're going to be in the field. Okay, so that's See where that windstock's doing. That still is a little bit favoring. <laughs> All favoring now. Zero nine. Traffic, traffic 172 zone Bravo Romeo Yankee is eight to the southeast. We'll be in that bound for uh, up, up and over uh, for the mid uh, correction of mid right 
downwind, two three, let's go. Okay, so same thing, aim for the glasses. Yep. All right, right about. I bring the bring power off 70 knots. You're basically looking to uh, lose about 400 feet here. Yep. And don't forget to turn it out too. A little bit more of a nose down attitude. Yep. Yep. Okay. Hey, so full flaps. Yep. On the downwind for a three one. Ten negative. Mark and traffic. Go go. Papa Papa is on final four zero nine four. All right. Yeah. Don't forget the flaps. Ready to use flaps now. So full flaps. Yep. I mean, trim it out when you put the flaps in. Okay. There you go. Okay, good. <coughs> Alright, how are you doing? We're doing good. Keep going. How about flight yep. traffic? This is Skywagon Seaplane, Foxtrot, with Android Juliet. Right about here, here. just start to flare. Just start to flare. Now you're looking down, down the runway, down the runway. Right, hold it right here, and there you go. And just use the rudder, keep it centered. Use the rudder. Pull back yep. on this guy. Right. Apply the brakes. As okay, you need. Yeah. Okay, got it. This last 300 feet or is the good pay payment? That's in case I have to slam my feet on the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Sort of feel it, right? Yeah. The, vi the vibration. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just a bit nervous when. <laughs> oh, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about. You're it. forgetting to put the nose up. Yep. So let me know you're backtracking. Yep. Uh, my traffic, go, go, blah, 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 is backtracking, zero nine. All right, uh, yep. clean up. There you go. We got mags on both. Oil temperature, fresh is good. We're going to set trim for takeoff. All right. All right. Getting center line going. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you see the in that flare, you started a more gradual flare? Yep. Yeah, and then you transitioned, right, from looking at the point where you were going to flare yep. to the down the runway. Uh -huh. Okay. And at, when you start looking down the runway, don't look at the air airspeed gauge at that point. Yep. Okay. Just looking down the runway. Yep. So that one was better, right? Oh, much better. Okay. Good. <laughs> it's all about getting the feel for it, though, right? Okay. I just have this feeling that I'm like too high. <laughs> yeah, approach. don't. Well, don't worry about that. I mean, high is better than low. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if you're too high, I mean, all you, you, you know, uh, bring the power off. There are things you, you can do. We'll do that later on if you're high. Yep. Uh, the only thing you can do if you're low is add power. Yep. And if you don't have power, then you're screwed, right? Yep. So you know, high is better than low. So once again, keep lined up and then stop. Don't, don't want to use up too much of the runway. Yep. Taxi. Okay. Hi. Right, good. All right. Um, finding the moment of Zen. <laughs> yes, that's right. All right. So I, I know I know you're sweating. Okay, but it's just yeah. about uh, <laughs> making sure that you're in control. You're flying the plane, not letting the fl plane fly you. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a bit uh, <laughs> a bit of a learning curve. Oh, I know. Today. I know. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> now let them know that you're gonna roll again. Uh, zero nine. Pain in the. Uh, just uh, just 
gonna do the roll. Uh, yeah, just tell me taking off zero nine. Yeah, okay. Uh, my contract, go, go, pop, 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 is departing zero nine. Alright, so pressure temperature's good, we're yeah. good, we're in the green, so good to go. I'll release the brakes. Yeah, use the rudder pedal. Right. Keep it. Use yeah. the rudder pedal. At this point your heels should be on the floor, right? You're just yeah. using the rudder pedal. Yep. Alright, okay, looking good. Speed the building, speed the live. Yeah, speed the live. And... Okay. Rotate. And rotate. Firmly rotate. Firmly rotate. More. 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 Rotate. There you go. Yeah. Right there. If you want, just aim for the 10 de degree mark. Okay. Yep. 10 degrees. Yep. Alright. Hey, you notice we good. got a very rough runway, right? Yeah. So, uh, the faster you go, the bigger the bumps get. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just noticed I needed a bit more pressure this time. Okay, was it trimmed out right? Oh, uh, yeah, it was. Was it? Okay. Alright, we're about right. to yeah. up. Yep, good. I did wrong. Oh, the flaps. Yeah, yeah there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, it's okay to do a flapless landing or a flapless takeoff. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a normal takeoff. Okay. And in fact, you know, flaps or no flaps. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, flaps gives you like an extra 50, 100 feet on the takeoff roll. Uh-huh. Right? That's it. Yeah, so mystery is solved. All right. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna turn base now. Okay. Let the traffic go for the left cross wind, three one. But get in the habit of a twenty degree turn. That's one, two. Yeah. And that never be more than thirty, but just you know, aim for twenty degrees. Okay. Okay. It's not as crisp a turn, but it, you know, it's it's, it's where, where you want to be in the circuit, which is a gentle turn. We're good for downwind check. Okay. So temperature's good, all pressure's good. Depth to max on both, flaps up. Okay. Bam is good. Now in other airports, of course, you always have to fit in with traffic. Yep. They don't have any traffic here. But at some point we'll go into a busy airport and you'll you'll see what I'm gonna do, and to tell you is sometimes you have to extend your downwind, right? Yep. And it's important to stay at that altitude 1800. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to slow down or speed up. In this case, the normal Ready speed is, is keep it about 2100 RPM. That's yeah, normal circuit speed that is around 90 knots or so. Yep. Okay, so 21, 2200 RPM. Yep. Always be wary of traffic, okay? Yep. And before you turn, you always got to look, right? Yep. And that's true when you're turning base and final. Okay. Obviously, you don't want to cut anyone off. We don't have anyone doing that to us. But as a general rule of thumb, you always want to look where you're turning. And also look over here, yep. right? You want to look over here, make sure there's no one coming in on base, okay. right, that you're going to cut off. And you want to look where you're turning and turn. Yep. Okay. All right. Yep. Now bring the power back. Start your turn. Let the speed bleed off when you're below 80. Put in 20 degrees. Yep. So flaps 20. Yep. All right. And 
and you're looking to lose, you know, 400 feet somewhere around that on the base leg. Yep. And before you turn final, always look here. So you want to look yep. here, make sure there's no one coming in on final. Okay, and then. Good, it just, uh, okay, now put 100% flaps in. All right, flaps. Uh, and do your go. radio call, let them know you're final. Full stop. American traffic, go, go, pa, 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 is on final, zero nine, full stop. Good. Right back. Okay, now transition to the end of the flare, looking down the runway. Yep. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, a little bit of a bounce there. And just, uh, yeah, there you go. By the brakes, bring the nose yep. up. Oh, that was still bad. Very bad. Uh, practice, 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 right? Yeah. My door popped open. Look, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, ah, there you go. <laughs> Wow, did I just hit my learning proto? <laughs> there you go, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nah, we just bounced a couple of times. I wouldn't, wouldn't worry about it. All right. All right, taxi back. Uh, mark on traffic, go, go, pop, 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 is backtracking, turn on. Alright, so cleaning up. Yep. I think there's a feature, automatic door opener. <laughs> Ape a bad uh, landing. <laughs> well, no, see, here's the thing, you gotta, you know, flare, right? Yeah. But when you flare, don't, don't push the nose down, right? Okay. What you want to do is, now, if you're high, you, you want to let it sink. Yep. Right? But keep the nose, like, don't push the nose down again. You want to keep it, you want to flare, and hold it. Now, if you're high, it'll start to sink, and you add a bit of power to arrest the sink rate. Yep. But keep letting it going. Okay? Yep. So, once you flare, you know, you don't ever want to push the nose down again. So if you flare it high, that's okay. You can just add a bit of power and gently reduce the rate of descent yep. onto the runway. Okay? Okay. Yeah, we're going right. again. <laughs> no rest for the wicked, okay? Yeah. Make sure you're nice and lined up. Alright, we're okay. lined up. Okay, so yeah. this time we're going to put flaps down. Yeah, flaps down. Alright, so we're set for takeoff. Yeah, make sure. And just, you know, just flow, right? You can flow left to right or right to left. Yeah. But mags, master, switches as required, throttle, yeah. mixture, flaps, fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Trim fuel. And trim it up. Yep. Yeah. And trim's good. Alright, and good to go. Your ra uh, radio call. Now, this time, though, I want you not to do a brake stand. I want you just to apply the power. So your feet off the brakes, apply the power. This is a normal takeoff. Yep. Apply the power gent, you know, firmly within about a second and a half. It should be all power. Okay, got it. A deer radio call. Uh, Mark, click golf, golf, pop, 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 is departing zero nine. All right. Yeah, I just let it go. Hey, heels on the floor. Use the brakes. Yep. I 
Now about here you want to get that nose wheel off, yep. right? There you go. And hold that. Yep. And wait for about 55 here. Now rotate. Rotate, pull back. Yep. Uh, so you were sort of bunny hopping there, so we yep. were airborne. So what you want to do is, yeah, right there. Yep. If you feel the airplane getting airborne, just rotate at that point. Yep. You know? 7 to 10 degrees nose up and you're away. Okay. And it flies itself off. That's your average normal takeoff. Okay. What we were doing before is basically a short field takeoff. Hey. Okay, so you're clear of obstacle? Yep, flaps up. Yeah. Watch that sink rate, right? Yep. Maintain positive rate of climb. Got it. Alright. So remember to keep it around 20, let's say 22, just for, uh, keep it at 22 inches, I'm sorry, it's 22 RPM. Yep. 2200. Alright, so down one check, temperature's good, pressure's good, nice and bold. Alright. Green. Up. This is if at any point you lose your engine, you can turn and make the field. Okay. All right, the wind's good. Yep. Make the sock. Yep. Coco Lake traffic, Charlie Foxtrot, Charlie Whiskey Foxtrot, Silver Mortar Point, Circle Lake, Northeast Side, Ashton Island, Landing Lake, Muskoka, Northeast Side. Oh, he's up in Muskoka. Charlie Whiskey Foxtrot. Oh, we're here now. See, it's, it's sometimes we get that off the, uh, depending on the at atmospherics. Oh. <laughs> Good to Charlie. Actually, I just have about a mile south of Monument Point, 1,700 feet north of Bowen Island with the uh, landing traffic tracked and in sight. Roger, thank you. I'm just uh, circling the area, which I'm over here now, landing north of Bowen Island. I'm just sending down to the water. Thank you. Charlie Whiskey Fox Truck. Traffic traffic, this is Romeo Yankee Yankee, currently 5 miles to the northwest at 3,000 feet inbound for landing. Traffic traffic. Okay, looking good. Well, 
want to put flaps in as quickly as you can so you get a nice stable approach. Yep. Uh, Mark of traffic, Golf Golf Papa Papa is on final for Or is there nine? Alright, is it trimmed out? Oh, uh, there you go. Uh, so, the key thing here is to get it all trimmed out, the flaps in, get it all trimmed out, and then do your radio calls. You think 88, navigate, communicate, yep. right? So make sure it's all trimmed out, you're nicely coming in for the approach, then let them know. Okay, this is looking good. Okay, so now power off. There you go, let's hold it here. There you go. And now apply brakes, bring the nose up. There you go, that was that was good. Alright, much better. I gave you a 7 out of 10 on that one, you know, that was oh, good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Especially with the crosswinds, let's uh... Okay, let's do it. Let's do it again. All right, let's do it again. Yeah, okay, we're okay. gonna prove that it wasn't a fluke. Okay. Great. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I was trying to build your confidence here, all right? Yeah, I gotta feel more natural because it is yeah. a bit. No, I know. It is, but it, that's the sort of thing. It just takes time to get that feeling. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're down to one crow as an observer. <laughs> I guess they're giving up on us. All right. <laughs> Alright, so we're yeah. going to do our clean-up, laps up, head for takeoff, mags on both, everything's good, the temperature's good, oil pressure's good. Alright. Yeah, I think I realized where my problems were. Okay, good. Yeah. Just got to get a feel for it. There's no, there's no substitute to actually just doing it. Because I, I think I have a feel that the sh uh, that the runway is too short, so I'm... <laughs> well, it is a short runway, I'll yeah, grant you that. It is, yeah. And remember, we got grass on either end, okay? So, you know, we got we got some room to play with. But your goal is to land inside the box, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I just remember where that, that wing, that those those two barrels are at your halfway point, right? Yeah. So at any point where you're not wheels down by that point, yeah, it's overshoot. Okay. Powers at idle. Yep, let's do a ten. Let's do short field takeoff. So this short is a brake take stand. Yeah, yeah. brake stand. So mags on both, masters on, fuels on both, uh, yep. temperature's good, oil pressure's good. Everything's good. Alright. Alright, full power. Alright, everything's green, good to go, releasing the brakes. Alright. Uh, airspeed's alive. I got the nose wheel up. Keep your nose wheel line. There you go. And 55. There you go. Rotate. Rotate. Got yeah, wanted a bunny hop off. Yep. Yeah, that's your signal to rotate. Okay. There you go. Just, uh, that transition to a nice sort of five degree angle of attack on the climb out. Yep. Doing best angle of climb out, maybe a bit slow on the climb out. May have to push it de the nose down a bit yep. on the on the climb out. Yep. Sometimes, if it's a hot day or for a heavy, then you can't make 500 feet per minute on the climb out. You got to do 300 feet. Yep. All right, clear the obstacle. Okay. Up. Just let the airspeed be your guide. Yeah, cover hill, cover hill, cover hill. Uh, Five miles to the west, overflying at 2.8 on route to Wilberforce. Alright, 
Okay. Left side. Now, of course, this is the left circuit for us. Yep. Uh, which is natural because, of course, the pilot's on the left. That's why the default circuit is always to the left. Yep. Uh, but uh, there could be a right-hand circuit, too. Oh. And when the gliders are active at Markham, we actually would be doing a right-hand circuit there. Because we the gliders would have north of the airport, we'd have south of the airport. Oh, yeah, we did that once, yep. Yes. Yep. At, at, right. And once again, keep an eye out. Make sure there's no one coming down the downwind. Yep. Remember, we got some guys flying out of this field with no radios in their planes. No transponders, no radios. Oh wow. Yep. 7600. <laughs> That's well, not even that. They don't even have a transponder, so. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the original Piper Cub had no electronics in it. Oh wow. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna correct the circuit opposite here. Okay. Alright, for some downwind checks, mags on both. Um, Good, the uh, temperature is on green, pressure is green. Uh, fuel tanks on both. And we're trimmed out nicely. Ah, okay, so my door popped open on that takeoff roll. Oh, just wow. a little bit. If my door does pop open, if the window opens, how does that affect your instrument? Um. Wanna find out? Here, watch this. A little bit. Just a little bit. Sometimes you can just see it. It's like a knot or two off the air, the air oh, speed. Okay. That's it. So is that because of the static? Board? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's just an inaccuracy in the air of the aircraft. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. some aircraft can be quite dramatic, up to five knots. All right. All right. Uh, Mark of traffic, Golf Golf Hub Alpha is uh, left downwind for zero nine. Oh, that's right. an interesting observation. Oh, it's, in the, it's in the POH, too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that does vary based on the model of the, of the Cessna. And this, I think actually Vlad's uh, uh, Vlad's playing, I think it was five knots if he opened the window. Oh, wow. side, side <laughs> that's how much it was. Yeah, I think they might have corrected it over time, right? Yeah, maybe. One, one hopes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're a little bit slow here, like, you know, 22, I think 90 knots. Now, it's no, no big deal for us, but think, think if you're in a circuit pattern with three other planes yep. behind you, right? All right. Yep. How about now? All right. Oh uh, yeah, it's a bit too high. Uh, that's okay, it'll be good practice. Yeah. And I'll bring the okay, power I'll right just, off. Yeah. I'll just correct. Oh. I, you can also put in full flaps here. Alright. Yeah. Because full flaps, of course, helps you with your rate of descent. And maintain the same, same speed. So on the turn from base to final, 70 knots. Oh, Make yeah. sure to look, there's no one coming in on, yeah. on final here. No one's coming. Alright, we're looking good. And keep us at 70 knots. We're right. at 60 now, right? You want to be 70 on that turn. You don't want to get, it. let it get... And let them know you're final. Mark of traffic, go, go, pop, pop, it's on final for zero. Uh, good. Oh, you see the part of the runway that's not moving? Yep. That's where you're going to flare. Okay. Well, this is actually looking really good. All right. Uh, All right. Well, you like the wind take you a little bit. Yeah. There's our halfway mark. That's good. We were down 300 feet before that. And my door popped open. You see that? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's an indication. That's, <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. They can take a lot of punishment, okay? I'll let them know. Uh, Mark of traffic, Golf Golf Pop Pop is back tracking zero nine. All right. So, want to do one more? Sure. Yeah, okay. let's do it. One more. I'll make this one per perfect now. Okay, yeah. I'll try my best. <laughs> okay. Close this door. 
Actually, I'll keep it open initially. Okay, Aaron. All right. That foot. Yeah. That foot takeoff. Yeah, there we go. Now let's intentionally do a no flap takeoff. Okay. Oh. You can also do a twenty degree flap takeoff. A twenty degree flap ta takeoff doesn't help you at all. It hurt, it hurt you. Oh. Uh. Okay. Um, but ten degrees is about the best. You you know ten degrees. Not going to get much additional. It gives you like fifty feet further on your takeoff roll. Yeah. It, you know, it really doesn't give you much more than that. So you'll never, you know, taking it more than 10 degrees on takeoff is not only not a benefit, it's a detriment. Okay. you to go a little bit further, a little bit further to the end. A little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. Okay, now now turn here. You see how the wings are over the edge? Yep. That's good. This is a good distance. Now you turn. Now you just try and get it lined up. So right here, stop right here. You notice how we're lined up right here? Yep. So you gotta be careful you don't S-turn back through this line. Okay. okay. Let me just get the door back. So it's going to close on us. Good to go. All right, so we're gonna do a no flap takeoff. Yeah, let's do a no a no flap takeoff. No flap takeoff, and then um, is it a short field? Uh, sh yeah, no, we're gonna do a yeah. Let's make it a short field, no flap takeoff. Okay, short field, no flap takeoff. All um, right, all right uh, good to go. All right, let them know we're rolling. Uh, mark of traffic, Golf Golf Papa, Papa is departing zero nine. There you go. This is Papa Polinia, we're looking for a uh, check, please. Papa Polinia, Mark, Camino, Con, Region 555. Papa Polinia, Con. Hey, speed's alive, temperature pressure's looking good. We're on the center line. On the center line, yeah. Alright. And rotate. And rotate. Now climb out 70 knots. Sixty-four best angle. Now, once we're clear of the obstacle, we can transition to best right. Okay. So I think in the seventies, mid seventies. Like just think of mid sixties for best angle, mid seventies for best right. Okay. Take off roll. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, 
this case, we might, well, depending on where they are, we might want to extend our downwind. Okay. Let's see what it's like. I don't know where they are. Uh, this should be fine. He'll probably go off. He's either going to exit or he's going to try again. Okay. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, okay. On him in. Uh, beaming the field now. Alright. Alright, down we check. Max and both. Uh, is good. Oil pressure is good. Uh, we're trimmed up nicely, flaps up. Alright, looking good. Alright. I'm just let know you're beam the runway and copy last transmission. Uh, my traffic golf go pop up, beam the field and copy last transmission. And should we announce the left downwind? Please? Yep. Uh, Mark traffic, go go pop up uh, is on left downwind for zero nine. Always looking for traffic. Yep. Now because we're close to Buttonville, sometimes the Buttonville traffic will blunder through our airspace and not realize we're here. Okay. That's the other thing to keep an eye out for. Yeah. That's why they call it VFR. B and B C. His plane. Yep. Fly your plane. Okay. okay. So now he may do his takeoff roll. He may not. If he avoids on the runway, we just overshoot. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, you, you focus in on what you're doing. You've got to make sure to not let anything distract you from flying exactly like you did the last time around. Got it. Oh, we're all trimmed out. We're at a good, good altitude here. Yeah, he's airborne. Yep. Yeah, he's airborne. You can see he's letting the wind push him a bit. Yep. yep. Uh, Figure Lake Regional, Terminal 3A Bravo Victor is 3 miles west, overflying the airport at 5,500 from uh, West E, Figure Lake. Okay, you're looking good. Oh, the wind's changed. Okay. Let's keep it on the runway, down the runway, looking good. Power's off, we're looking good, we're looking good. There we go. All right. And just use the rudders, keep it on yeah, the rudder, right? And yeah. apply brakes as you get. Don't, you don't apply yeah. brakes too much, right? Just yeah, lots of runway left, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't have, to, don't have to slam on the brakes. Just, you know, yeah. use it gently. you got still got lots of runway. And uh, let's be careful. Let's be clear. If you need to, just go straight off that runway, right out yeah. there. It's grass. You mow some lawn, but so what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That was, that, was, that was pretty good. Now, so the only thing I'd comment there was, you know, obviously the wind changed. You notice that? Yeah. And, and, and so all of a sudden the wind's changed direction and strength. So exactly, and you did everything great just like you did last last time, but now you're in the flare and the wind's pushing you a different direction, yep. right? And so the key thing is use the rudder, keep it on the center line, right? You, center line, you were doing fine there. And then when you landed, everything was, was good, but then you sort of overcorrected a bit with the rudder, right? Yep. And so, and you, if you're not careful, you can get this harmonics going. Right? And the way to get out of that is power. Okay. And if you, you know, if you're just past the halfway mark, I mean, hit power, and you can be air, airborne again. Right. Yep. If it, if it gets away from you. Now it wasn't too 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 bad. So you just got to smooth it out. Right. 
and you know, if need be, just pump the brakes, tap on them, right? Yep. You don't want to, you don't want to lock the brakes. Okay. The worst thing that could happen is if you lock one brake and not the other. Yeah, and then you can just. Or even if you lock both brakes, one of these might be a little bit better brake than the other brake. Yep. Okay. So never lock the brakes. You want to just apply them and yep. tap, tap them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. That was pretty good, though. Yeah. <laughs> now you're getting getting a good feel for it. Yeah. Uh, just the flare is the problem, but yeah, well, that's that's always the challenge. The hardest yeah. thing to do in av aviation, is right? That's and and we'll we'll get into some really interesting stuff later on, like soft wheel landings, that that sort of thing. Uh huh. Okay. Where it gets even more 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 challenging, but you got all the basics. So it's just you know you got to sit down and you know in an armchair and just go in your mind go through those different steps. Yep. where we got it. Alright, so we're gonna... Yeah, we, it's says we're gonna go here. We got enough room to get past here. Yeah. Oh, this taxi. You gotta be, of course, careful watch these lights. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the most hit light in the field, is this guy right here. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. And this one's dead. That one, yeah. <laughs> hey, you can probably tell that they've been bounced around a bit. Yeah. 